Now let's texture the necklace. And the necklace is a little bit different because we don't have any detail on it right now. It's just plain gold. And so what I want to do is sculpt a little bit of a raised kind of pattern on these pieces. And then maybe we can add something jewel-like or maybe some carved uh, hieroglyphic type writing uh, on this. And so as with all the other things, you could feel free to do exactly what I'm doing or, or you can kind of change things up and do your own thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the gold texture set right here. All right, I'm gonna create a new layer. We'll just make this a paint layer. And I'm just gonna call this neck plus bump. And I'm gonna go ahead and get just a basic brush. Make sure that I'm on the paintbrush. All right, I wanna make sure symmetry's on. I'm gonna go into my brush. I'm gonna turn everything off, but height, and I'll turn emissive off. All right, so for the height, I'm gonna make it a little bit higher. So something like that. You can see that effect there. Now I wanna make sure that I'm able to get nice straight lines. And so what I wanna do is turn on lazy mouse, which is this button right here. And this will allow us, as you can see this, that kind of creates a trail that smooths out your motion will enable you to create much smoother strokes. So I'm gonna start by just creating the outline for this. And let me make the distance a little bit smaller and I'm gonna change the brush size down just a little bit. Okay, so something like this out to the edges. You can always undo if you're not straight enough. Okay, and I'll come straight down here try to keep it a little bit sharp. Now we're working with a consistent height, so that's nice because we don't have to worry about overlapping strokes, uh, making those weird artifacts. Let's do the same thing on this side. So come down and up, cut across there, cut across here. All right, and now let's come down the side. All right, so something like that. So it gives us a little bit of a raised edge around the sides there. Now let's say that we want to add maybe a jewel in the center or something like that, or some sort of a, a raised detail. So what we can do is go into our alpha. And so still working with the height, we'll leave the height exactly the same. Let's go into our alpha shape. And I'm going to choose and let's try an oval shape make that our alpha. Now I'm going to go ahead and size it up, rotate it, just using the control button and the right and left mouse buttons. And then I'm just going to drop it in the center. And here, let's do the same thing. Rotate it a little bit. So something like that. Now we'll go back into our brush. Let's get our main alpha back. And so I'm just going to grab this shape. Let's get a smaller draw size now. And now for this one, I'm gonna create a, a kind of a spiral, a kind of a sunburst pattern kind of coming out. And let me actually get a smaller draw size here. So I wanna create these kind of radiating lines. And again, this is my pattern, you can do something else. But it's nice because we have a consistent height, it blends with the two existing pieces that we already created, the outer rim, and then also the inner oval that we created. So something like that. Maybe on these, on the outside, these might be more vertical. And so we could come in and maybe create one like that, coming down like that. And then maybe these intersect. So we'll just come straight across. Same thing here something like that. And this is all in this necklace bump layer that we can turn off and on. Let's go ahead and add another level to this. So let's actually go back. Let's get our alpha back, get our oval back, and let's increase the height just a little. All right. Now coming back in here, 
Let me go ahead and size it up a little bit. Make sure it's rotated into position. So maybe something like that. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Kind of rotate it and soften it a bit. Just to add a little bit more detail there. And now here you can add, if you want to add any kind of kind of a jewel or like a, a sapphire or something, any kind of jewel or any kind of uh, enamel paint. I'm going to go ahead and get some color. Let's do kind of a turquoise kind of a look. Get the, some roughness here. Raise the height. Pretty low roughness there. Let's come in and I want to soften this up. So I'll do something like that. So I'll tighten that up a little bit. So well, maybe something like that. Let's also go into the metallic. Make sure our metallic is down. And so I'll go ahead and add something like that. Let's rotate it a little. All right. Now we can come in and actually create a little bit of a carving. Maybe there's some characters, some alien characters in here. And so let's go ahead and we're going to be doing color and height. Color is going to be black. Height this time is actually going to be lower than this halfway point. And so we're going to take that down a little bit because this is going to be carved in. Let's go back to our alpha. Get our normal shape. Come back up here and decrease the size. And let's also increase the hardness a bit. Take our size down quite a bit. And let's turn off our lazy mouse. Okay. I'm actually going to make sure the stroke is defined by the pen pressure. Take our size down a little bit more. And now we can start to carve in. I feel like that's a little bit too low. So let me go back to the height. Bring this up a little bit. And then we can start to add any sort of like markings or characters that you want to add to your necklace here. Try not to be too specific. So I'm not recreating any existing characters, at least not intentionally. And we can do the same thing here. So if you want to make this Elvish or whatever language that you may have created for your backstory for your character, this is a great place to add that kind of storytelling sort of element. And so let me just add some more characters in there. And now to finish this up, we can go ahead and add a new paint layer. Let's get a dirt spots brush. And I'm going to turn off height and just working with color now. Let's go ahead and take our size down a bit. And we can just sort of drop some dirt in those areas where the dirt may have collected. Okay. This person is probably pretty well kept, but still you want to add a little bit of realism by just emphasizing some of those lowered areas to show that some time has passed. Everything's not brand new, which always helps. Unless of course it's supposed to be brand new. And so that just kind of helps visually with that. If you want to add just a little bit on the jewel there, you can do that on this part. So something along those lines for the necklace. And once you've got that done, the next thing that we're going to do is add some texture for the wood. That's kind of the last piece here. I do want to add the gold for the, the armband. Let's go ahead and do that now. So that's going to be on the body. Okay, we've got the sash, we've got the bone, the jumpsuit, and the skin base. So let's go ahead now and just jump into our materials. And I'll just drop in a gold up here. Let's get a black mask. And we've got the armband, right? I think this is it right here. And so let's go ahead and I'm just going to click our fill. And let's go ahead and fill that, which will put that gold right just on the armband. And then if we want to tarnish that up a little bit, let's add a paint layer, add a black mask and click on this piece again. Then we'll go to our mask with our paint selected. Let me right click, make the size a little bit bigger. And I also want to affect the roughness. And so we'll just kind of rough this up a little bit. 
with some darker color and modify the roughness a bit. This is only affecting the gold there. All right, so something like that. All right, so it looks like we've got some gold over on that side. Let's make sure that we don't add that to the arm. So let me right click, go to the mask, go to black, and make sure that we don't have that masked off. That we do have it masked off. And that should be in the gold. There we go. Let's take a look. All right, getting really, really close. Let's go ahead and in the next clip, let's finish up the texturing by adding some wood. And we'll look at some different samples that we can try and you can kind of decide what works best for you. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that next.